Hi there. You know, the scriptures tell us again and again that we should put our trust in the Lord. But did you know that the scriptures are also very clear about things that we should not put our trust in? One of those things that we're told implicitly not to put our trust in is in our selves, that is in our own good works, to somehow make us right with God or to, you know, merit an answer to prayer. In Luke 18, Jesus told a parable to some who trusted in themselves, and you know it, um, that they, they, they trusted that they were righteous and they despised others. And you've got this Pharisee that is praying and he's saying, God, I, I thank you that I'm not like others, you know, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. There was a tax collector in the back of the, the synagogue, apparently. And, and the Pharisee went on and said that I, I fast twice a week and I pay tithes of everything that I possess. But the tax collector in the back wouldn't even look up to heaven, just hit his breast and said, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. And it's interesting, God, uh, Jesus said it was the tax collector that went away justified before God. And you know, it's a bit of an interesting designation because as Jesus tells the parable, the Pharisee who's praying, it says he prayed thus with himself. He's just talking to himself. God isn't even listening. My friend, we cannot trust our own good works to somehow merit favor with God. Our good works will never justify us before God, nor will they earn answers to prayer. God responds to faith out of a humble heart, and that puts everyone on a level playing field. And you know, over the years, I have counseled a number of people that were very, very angry. And why they were angry? Because God had blessed some other people in the church, and they knew these other people weren't as good a Christians as they were. And in essence, they said, Pastor, I don't understand it. I'm upset. You know, they hardly attend church at all, and they got healed. And, you know, I've given sacrificially, and I've, I've done this, and I've done that, and they're really upset that God blessed others and hadn't blessed them. But the reason they were upset is they're looking at their own track record, their own good works, at their meticulous tithing, at their church attendance, or they had, you know, driven teenagers, you know, to this youth event or done that, and that they'd done this and they'd done that. Well, friend, the other folks had just come to God humbly, knowing that they couldn't earn anything. And in faith and trust in his word, they ask God to help them. Something that I learned a long time ago, it's very important to be quick to repent, quick to forgive, and quick to believe. If you're slow to repent, if you're slow to forgive others, and if you're slow to believe, you're not going to do very well in this spiritual walk with God. And I just want to encourage you, the only thing that we should put our trust in is the precious blood of Jesus. It's the only thing that merits us, you know, gaining entrance into heaven. It's the only thing that, that's worthy enough to make us clean and to make us pure. My, my trust is in him alone. All other ground, as the old hymn says, is sinking sand. So friend, don't trust in your good works, but put trust in Jesus, in his precious shed blood to make you right with God. Put your trust in the promises of God and in a humble heart out of sincere faith. Come to God with a promise. Ask him to meet your needs. Don't even think about your good works and what you've done is somehow using that to leverage, you know, an answer from God. It will never work. But he is faithful to all that put their trust in him.